Well, with summer in full effect, that means plenty of road trips, weddings, college visits, and hopefully relaxing getaways. With increased road travel, though, comes the increased risk of possible credit card skimming and other forms of identity fraud that everyone needs to protect themselves from. So, with us today is trusted tech guru Suzanne Cantra of Tech Techlicious to offer some smart tips to keep us all safe this summer as we travel. So, how do we, what's, what's the best tips? What do you got for us? Where do we start? So where I would start is skipping the swipe and using your phone to pay for gas instead. Now, credit card skimmers are easy to hide inside, inside of those payment terminals like gas station pumps and ATM machines. And these use these devices to be able to steal your card information and ultimately your identity. So what you can do is use a smartphone app like the Mobile Speed Pass Plus at Exxon and mobile gas stations instead of swiping your credit card. It's both safer and more convenient so you're not digging out your credit card and swiping in the safety of your own vehicle, you just pulling out your phone and paying for gas. That sounds much better, Suzanne. Then I don't know if you do this or not, but I've been checking the swiper to see if it's fake. I pull on them before I put my card in. <laughs> so this is much easier. Well, they and they're, they're hidden inside there, so it's not easy to see. Even if you check them, you might not be able to see it inside. All right, what else you got? So another thing is do not use the public Wi-Fi unless you absolutely have to. Uh, public Wi-Fi has lots of dangers and risks associated with it, including connecting to a fake hotspot that looks legitimate but in the end belongs to a data thief. So if you're going to connect, make sure you confirm the name of the hotspot before connecting. All right, well, you, you mentioned, you know, public Wi-Fi's, but does that include when I'm traveling on planes and stuff? Because, you know, the plane, they always, all the different airlines offer you Wi-Fi on their on their plane. Should I not be going into those? No, you can go onto the plane Wi-Fi. Usually there's only one network that's available and it's provided by uh, the carrier. So th the likelihood of you connecting to a fake hotspot there um, is very low. Which which one are you you're talking? So the public wi the the Wi-Fi you're talking to say avoid are those so the ones that are free? Uh, the free the free hotspot. So let's say that you go into a park and there's municipal Wi-Fi there. You might think that it's the park's name or a variation of that. What these will do is they'll set up um, their hotspots there so that you'll connect to them and then pass all of your data through. Uh, and so anything that's not encrypted um, could then be picked up and used by the data thief. So you know a lot of times we're not we're sending information um, over these these Wi-Fi hotspots. What I would also recommend is using what's called a virtual private network, which um, encrypts it from your computer or from your phone all the way to wherever it is that you're going so that even if somebody does see that information, it just looks like gibberish. All great tips, all great tips. You got, got anything else for us? So another thing that you can do is instead of using the hotel keys, use the hotel app to unlock your, your door instead. Um, it's, you know, it's very easy to lose those hotel keys. Don't use the public computer at your hotel because a lot of times somebody's gotten onto them and loaded software that can capture your username and password. And finally, if you're looking for an ATM machine, look for one that's inside of a bank because those tend to be uh, swept more for those credit card skimmers. Oh, that's a great tip there. I didn't realize you could open the, the hotel doors with your phone and an app. Well, think about how many times you've lost your keys. Let, let's say you put it down on the bar next to you. Somebody knows who you are. They can follow you back and, and get into your hotel room. It's just a lot safer to you know, have your keys with you on your phone rather than someplace where you could leave it lying around. I know that I've left it on gym equipment at hotels often, so you know it's just a little bit safer to be able to use that app. Good stuff. Appreciate you joining us. Thanks for having me. And that was ExxonMobil that brought you that interview and those great ideas.